probability. Okay. So total probability is nothing but when the probability of an event A, that is probability of A is defined on a sample space can be written in terms of conditional probability. We are writing probability of an event A in the sample space in terms of conditional probability. Then what is that called total probability? Okay. So here what we do? We are taking n mutually exclusive events. So this n mutually exclusive events is nothing but bn, where n value is varying from 1 to so on capital N. Okay. So whose union equals to S as shown in the figure. Okay. So see this figure. When do you say that these events are mutually exclusive? So if two events, B1 and B2, are mutually exclusive, what is B1 intersection B2 will be equal to? B1 intersection B2 will be equal to what? Null set because they don't have any common element. See here, B1, B2, B3, they don't have any common elements, okay? So these events are called mutually exclusive events. Like that, how many events we have? Totally Bn number of events, okay? Now, if you combine, if you take union of all this, if you take union of all this, what you get? You get a sample spaces or no? So we get this complete sample space. Okay, so how do we define the uh, mutually exclusive events here? BM intersection BN will be equal to null set where M value is not equal to N. So where M and N values are varying from one to N. Okay, so that is B1 intersection B2 or B2 intersection B3, so on like that, will be equal to what? Null set, okay. And we also discussed that this, the union of these events, okay. So union of N is equal to one to N. How many events we have? N number of events, you know? So N is equal to one to N, BN is equal to what? It will give us the sample space, okay. So we have selected N mutually exclusive events like this as shown in the figure. Okay, now what is that uh, total probability says that we have to prove this equation. Okay, so if you prove this equation, this equation is known as total probability of any event A. Okay, so we have to prove this equation that we are doing here. Now, what is that we have done? We are taking a event A such that uh, as shown in the figure here. So event A is selected like this as shown in the figure. Okay, now you know that e A intersection S. Now A intersection S, S is what? The complete sample space. A intersection S will be equal to what? A only, okay. And from the associative property, we know that A intersection B union C will be equal to what? A intersection B union A intersection C, okay. So from this, we know that A intersection S will be equal to what? A intersection, what is S here? Just now we have discussed what is S. S is equal to union of N is equal to one to N, BN, okay? Union of N is equal to one to N, BN. So in the place of S, we will be substituting union of N is equal to one to N, BN, okay? Now using this, associative property, what we have observed, we can interchange intersection and union, okay. Now we have taken this union out. So union of one is n is equal to one to n, a intersection b n, okay. So we are writing like this, okay. Now just uh, you see here, a intersection, for example, this one is your b4, this one is your b4, a intersection b4, okay will give you which portion mark, this portion, okay. Similarly, for example, this is your B5, okay, this one is your B5. Then what is A intersection B5 will give us this portion, okay. And for example, this is your B6, okay. What is A intersection B6 will give us this portion. Now, can you tell me what is A intersection B4? What is the relation between A intersection B4 a intersection B5, A intersection B6, like this. Okay, say this is your B7. Okay, so in that case, okay, so this is your intersection part. 
Now, can you tell me what is the relation between them? Students. So these are mutually yes. exclusive. See here, this is this portion does not have any common element with this portion, yes or no? And this por these two portions does not have any common element with this portion, yes or no? So what are these uh, yes, portions? No are mutually exclusive again these are mutually exclusive if don't have any common elements okay then those events are called mutually exclusive events okay so in this case what is that we'll get a intersection bn a intersection bn are mutually exclusive okay so now if two events are mutually exclusive then we can use axiom number three okay so then probability of two mutually exclusive events will be equal to union of the probability of individual event okay so the probability of union of n is equal to 1 to n um, a intersection bn will be equal to what summation of the probability of individual event what is individual event here a intersection bn will give you individual events okay so whenever we are finding the probability of union of mu mutually exclusive events that will be equal to what it is summation of probability of individual events okay so that is our axiom number three okay so from this and we also know that what is probability of a given b probability of a given b can be written as probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b okay from this equation what is probability of a intersection b e probability of a intersection b is what ma probability of a given b into probability of b yes or no probability of a given b into probability of b now can you tell me what is probability of a intersection b n probability of a intersection b n will be equal to what probability of a given b n into probability of b n okay is it clear so here we have probability yes, of sir. a intersection b n so how do you write it as from this equation what you know this multiply these two terms that is probability of a given b n into probability of b n okay is it clear so you see observe this equation if you observe this equation probability of a is given as summation n is equal to 1 to n probability of a given b n into probability of given b n okay so we have discussed in that previous section that okay here if p of a is equal to this then this equation is known as what the total probability of an event a okay so what is that we are doing we are writing probability of a in terms of conditional probability what is this term called what is this term called this is called conditional probability. We are writing a probability of A in terms of conditional probability. Okay. So this is called total probability.